thing. Apparently, don't eat soup right before recording. <laughs> okay, so uh, hello everybody. Uh, it's Tobit. Um, and it's time to finish off what we started. What I started with the Nickelodeon character tier list. Now I am conti I continued with the Cartoon Network characters, and now we're at the Disney XD characters. This is uh, not only Disney XD originals, it's also shows that were made for other networks, but then also just played on Disney XD. So here we are, um, uh, yeah I made a mistake eating soup right before this recording. Um, uh, we're starting off with the ninth Doctor. <laughs> doctor Who. Always a Chad. Unless it's the 13th Doctor. So, uh, Chad. Got ourselves Adam from, uh, Lab Rats. Definitely a Chad. Amy from, uh, Doctor Who. <sighs> Average, I guess. Like, just not really too special. No, the sidekicks really are that great. Just gotta say it. Uh, we got ourselves, um, Ant-Man from, a what's it called, Avengers Assemble, who is, uh, Chad, but Ant-Man from, uh, Earth's Mightiest Heroes, despite that being my favorite, like, Mar my favorite Avengers show, and the one I grew up watching, Ant-Man, not Sim, Whack, because, you know, he's all weird and just his character is just kind of weird in that video in that show it's like just a little bit whack you know a little bit whack but then we have Ash Ketchum who is the like man I don't mean to do the same thing I did last time and uh, end up doing this weirdness, but, uh, yeah, I should have just added this before, but, um, there is something very important, um, uh, very important going on. This is important because the number one Chad of all time is definitely Ash Ketchum. He's been, it looks just as young as ever, though, honestly, I don't know why, but, like, his character design just looks a bit weird in Sun and Moon but show, but whatever. Uh, but he looks just as young as ever, and he's still raking in all the hoes. All of the girls are after this guy all the time, always, in every season. Like, number one Chad. Ever, he's been doing this for like 20 years and he's still picking up all the girls year in year out absolute Chad and he's never chasing any of them they're always chasing him in fact most of the time he doesn't even notice they're there that's how Chad he is I had to make the special spot for him and this time it's not like a meme like when I did that with Shaggy this, like actually for real ultimate Chad um, you know, maybe I should just start having the number one Chad be a slot from the start so that I don't have to make it partway through the video. Um, we got ourselves Baymax. He's a bro. Like, he gives his life just for his bro at the end of Big Hero 6. Though, honestly, that death would have been more impactful if he didn't come back. When I first watched the movie, I was younger, and I was like, oh, I want him to come back because I'm a poopy kid and I can't handle death scenes or something. Eh, whatever. Even though I could handle death scenes, a lot of my favorite movies back then had a lot of permanent deaths. But actually rewatching the movie, it's like, he should have stayed dead. It kind of takes away from the impact of him dying if he can just come back. You know? Uh, we got ourselves Bill Cipher, who is an absolute Chad. Like, he got, like, all of hell working for him. And he's a freaking triangle. We got ourselves Black Panther, who I don't know if Black Panther was in Avengers Assemble. So I just had the Earth's Mightiest Hero version. He's a Chad. Always been a Chad. Always a Chad. Unless it's Black Panther, the movie. That that wasn't good. 
Um, uh, we got ourselves Black Widow, who no matter what, in everything is always a Chad, no matter what. Um, we got ourselves Bree from, uh, what's it called? What's the show called? What's the, what's the show called? Uh, Lab Rats, Lab Rats. Average. Uh, we got ourselves Brock. Simp! His, like, part of his entire character thing is that he is a simp. Like, absolute simp. Like, dang, man. Simp! Like, that is basically his character. He was introduced as being a simp. Okay, actually, in his episode one, he wasn't really much of a simp. But it was definitely already written into the character. Well, not episode one, but that the first episode with him showing up. That was, like, episode four or five, I think. Yeah, let's see. Because the show was, like, episode one. And then it was, like, episode two was mostly in... Uh, Lavender Town or something? Not Lavender Town, uh, can't remember the name of the son town, and it was like, we spent two episodes in the forest going to Pewter City, and then episode five was Pewter City. Yeah, I think that's how it went. I gotta rewatch the original season. It's a good show. Um, uh, Candace, also a simp. Absolute simp. Uh, we got ourselves Captain America from, well, it doesn't matter. Both Avengers Assemble and Earth's Mightiest Heroes are both absolute Chad Captain Americas. Like, absolute freaking Chads. Then we got ourselves uh, Cavendish from Milo Murphy's Law. Just to have. Uh, I don't know. I don't know which one to put him in, so I'm just gonna put him in average. Um, we got ourselves. Uh, I can't remember his name to be entirely honest, but he was a bro. The other dude from Labras, he was he was a bro. Absolute bro. Uh, then we got ourselves um, Clement. Wait, no, the Clement's over there. I always, for some reason I always think he's Clement. Um, Silence. Silence. His name. Uh, just average, I guess. Oh yeah, and the reason there's Pokemon characters here is because some of the seasons did air on, uh, what's it called? On, uh, Disney XD for a while. I actually technically think on it only started airing there as of X and Y, but I didn't think of that before. I already added, like, a lot of the other characters, so whatever. But I didn't make that same mistake with Doctor Who. Doctor Who only had like 9th Doctor to 11th Doctor on Disney XD. So yeah, I uh, only have those Doctors on here. Um, we got ourselves Clara, Average. Uh, the original three Ducks from Old DuckTales, which Old DuckTales didn't play on Disney XD, but they did appear as their original DuckTales in the 2013 Mickey Mouse show before uh, the DuckTales reboot came out. So they were still just the old version of the Ducks. And the old version of the Ducks, they were basically the same character. All of them are interchangeable. That's the one, the new DuckTales fixed that. They're all uh, different characters. But the original three Ducks, they're basically the same person. So, uh, they're just going on average. Um, uh, but then there's... Man, seriously, I need to remember not to eat soup right before this. Like, I don't even understand it. Yeah, I ate tomato soup right before recording this, and I was like... Dang! Why is everything about my mouth trying to get in the way of me recording? It wouldn't be an issue if I didn't have to talk the entire time. Uh... We got ourselves Clement. Uh, he's a bro. Not, nothing too special, just just a bro. Like, not a really good bro. Like, you know, like, like one of those bros. Bro bros, you know, bro. Uh, but, like, just a bro, you know? You know what I mean. Uh, we got ourselves... Uh, we got ourselves Young Cody from, Za from the Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. He's a bro. Absolute bro. But then, older Cody from Sweet Life on Deck, absolute Chad. 
Uh, we got ourselves Dakota. Dakota's a bro. Dakota from Milo Murphy's Law. Total bro. Then, oh yes, Bakugan. Mm, I used to love this show to death. I actually kind of want to rewatch it just to see if it's as good as Kid Me thought. And yeah, Dan Cuso, K-U-S-O, that one. I'm not count. I think there's a reboot or something. I'm not counting anything with that. I'm only counting the Bakugan that I grew up watching. <laughs> this show, probably the first anime that I actually watched all the way through. Because, you know, can't count Pokemon because that's still going. Uh, and I actually kind of stopped watching that around Gen 6. Uh, and I can't count... Uh, I can't count what what the one uh, Avatar is the first one because I don't because I'm pretty sure that one didn't even come out until after Bakugan was nearing the end. But yeah, Bakugan used to also just be like the hype back then. It was as big as Beyblade. Man, Bakugan is good. Um, but this guy, absolute Chad, absolute Chad. For real. We got ourselves a sidekick guy from Future Worm. Average, I guess. Um, Dawn from Pokemon. Be sure to have safe search on Chad. Because, like, she's, she's uh, just a Chad. Just a Chad. Um, then we got ourselves Dewey, Dewey Duck. Dewey Duck's kind of average. He's probably my least favorite of the three ducks. Uh, we got ourselves Dipper Pines, who is simping through a lot of season one and the beginning of season two. But the whole thing is that it's a story-driven show, and he kind of goes through character development. And... Then he's a bro. He's a bro. He's also so much of a bro to his sister that he even sacrifices everything. I hate Mabel. Just gonna say, Mabel is the worst. You know right where she's going. I uh, you you know right where she is going when the time comes. Uh, we got ourselves Donald Duck. Donald Duck's a Chad for real, absolute Chad. Like, dude. He still looks the same after a hundred years Disney's been around or something. Uh, actually, I think it's only like 70. Okay, we got ourselves... Um, well, it's definitely older than that. 80 years, maybe? Okay, whatever. We got ourselves uh, Dubal. Dubal is the chattest of all chads. <laughs> yeah, absolute... Chad material. Uh, two more eggs is actually kind of good. <laughs> uh, we got ourselves Dr. D. Dr. D is a bro. Not Chad material, though. No, uh, no. Not a Chad material. Not Chad material. But uh, definitely a bro. We got ourselves Drago. Yeah, I, th I think that's what he decided to nickname him in uh, the original thing. But yeah, Dragonoid from the original. Absolute Chad. Like, Chad. For real. We got ourselves Ezra from Star Wars Rebels. Average. No. Average. We got ourselves Ferb from Phineas and Ferb. Silent Chad. He even uh, picks up Vanessa, according to actor age. <laughs> um, we got ourselves Stanford Pines. Stanford. Stanford. Ford. 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 Ferdinand. Stanford. Ford. Stanford. Stanford. Whatever. Uh, Chad. We got ourselves Fred. Fred from uh, Big Hero 6, which Big Hero 6 characters are here. I Because, you know, Big Hero 6, the series. Um... Chad. He's a Chad. I haven't actually watched the series, so I'm basically just going off of the movie. <laughs> uh, we got ourselves Future Worm, who is a Chad, for real. 
Worm Chad. Hashtag Worm Chad. Spread the word. <laughs> you know, I kind of wish shows like that would still be around on Disney XD. Crazy shows like... Like, either really serious... I wish they would have more s serious shows like, you know, Spectacular Spider-Man, Earth's Mightiest Heroes, or maybe just more, uh, like, crazy shows like uh, Future Worm, Kick Batowski, uh, what's it called? Two More Eggs. But, uh, that kind of died off when, I think Pickle and Peanut is part of what killed Disney XD having crazy shows, because just showed that when it came to the newer generation of entertainment, they could not handle making crazy stuff, because now kids, crazy just means XD random. It's not like smart crazy or anything, so. XD random really only works for like, it only works if it's done right, which is basically internet humor can pull it off pretty easily, but for like professional, like when you're doing a movie or a, a video game or a TV show, there's very few times that you can pull it off. One of those few times was Invader Zim. Okay, I'm getting off on a tangent. Zeke's sister, Ginger, from Zeke and Luther. Ugh, whack. Then we got Gogo -Go from uh, Big Hero 6, Chad. Then we got ourselves uh, Hawkeye. Hawkeye's always a Chad. Hawkeye's the best Avenger, just to say it right now. Hawkeye's the best Avenger, 10 out of 10. Personally, I always prefer Earth's Mightiest Heroes, but uh, the character design, I think, is a bit better for Avengers Assemble, because, you know, not wearing weird purple stuff, but hey, all cool, all cool still. Uh, we got Hero from Big Hero 6, just average. Uh, we got ourselves Honey Lemon from Big Hero 6, Chad. Um, the picture cropped weird, headless. Uh, we got ourselves Louie Duck? Huey Duck? Yeah, this one's Huey. He's a bro. Total bro. Uh, we got ourselves uh, Iris from Pokemon. Average. Uh, we got ourselves Iron Man from both uh, Earth's Mightiest Heroes and Avengers Assemble. I said that out of order because, you know, whatever. Um, because you know, Avengers Assemble will always be the one first up because alphabetical. I typed in AA for Avengers Assemble and like OG or something for Earth's Mightiest Heroes, even though it wasn't OG, it was just uh, shorter than typing in Earth's Mightiest Heroes. Uh, we got ourselves Jeremy Johnson, Absolute Chad, <laughs> the head crop, weird. We got ourselves. I think your name was Julie? Yeah. I gotta rewatch that show. Uh, Chad. Uh, we got ourselves. Um. Kanan. Kanan was his name. Also a Chad. Uh, also a Chad. Definite Chad. Absolute frickin' Chad. Uh. Yeah. Like for real. Absolute Chad. Uh, we got ourselves Kick Batowski. Uh, I mentioned his show earlier. Uh, Kick Batowski is a, a pretty big Chad. Like, dang! Chad. I don't, I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> we got ourselves Kojo from. From. Why do I keep forgetting show names? Like, I have all the words. I, I know everything. That I'm, yeah, oh man, this this is an example of what I was trying to say. Like I can talk and I know what I'm trying to say, like when I'm talking normally. But like I swear, when I, once I hit record, my brain just wait a second, wait 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 wait. Did I hit record? Oh yes, I did hit record. Sorry about that, I just suddenly had a panic attack and worried that I didn't hit record. Uh, so yeah. 
that's that's good. Um, next up, uh, thing not next up. We were already trying to do one. Kojo, uh, absolute Chad. He is the chaddest of chads. Uh, we got ourselves Leo um, from Lab Rats. Leo's a bro, absolute bro. Uh, Louis Duck, bro. Luther from Zeke and Luther, Chad, absolute Chad material. I, I almost want to put him up here with <laughs> number one Chad. Uh, we got ourselves, uh, Mabel. Mabel is the worst character, I think ever. No, get, get back over here. There we go. So, I think we're going to have to do, uh. What? Why can I not spell, apparently? Dang it. The worst ever. Mabel is the worst ever. Like, seriously? I cannot think of a worse character than Mabel. Okay, we got Marco from, a. Uh, Star vs. the Forces of Evil. I haven't actually watched that, so I'm just going to put him in average. There's a lot of characters that won't be on this list, because there's shows that I literally don't even know the characters of. But yeah, whatever. Martha, average. Marucho? That's how I'm pronouncing it right. 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 Average. Masquerade. Absolute. Chad. Uh, top 10 anime villains. Oh wait, it is an anime. That joke doesn't work. But still, top 10 anime villains. For real. <laughs> uh, we got ourselves Max from Max Steel. I really gotta rewatch that show. I got a disc like for free when the show was new. It just showed up in the mail one day and I was like, oh, cool. It was just like a, the equivalent of a PS1 demo disc. It had one episode and some behind the scenes stuff. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. Pretty cool. And then it was just like... I remember the movie. I I really, really gotta watch the movie. Like... <sighs> I got so hyped for the movie and then just never watched it. I gotta watch that movie. Dang, I forgot, I forgot that there was even a movie until I looked up the character picture to put in the tier list. Actually, I only remember one that I did steel because there was a picture of live action steel there. Um, uh, so let's see. The absolute Chad. Um, we got ourselves May from Pokemon. Absolute Chad. We got ourselves Melissa. Whack. She kind of sucks. Like, she's just not a very good character, to be entirely honest. But Mickey Mouse, he is a bro. Actually, no, he is a Chad. Look. He's... No, no, no. I don't know why I was going to say he's a chad. He, he's just a bro. Just a bro, you know. Uh, Milo from Milo Murphy's Law. Average. His character just honestly isn't that great. He's kind of painstakingly average. Like, cliche, not well written. Like, yeah, he'd be a cool person to hang out with in real life, but, like, he's just not very good for, of a TV show character. Oh, we got ourselves Minnie Mouse. Just average. Couldn't really care less. Uh, we got ourselves Misty from Pokemon. Who is an absolute... Ch oh, come on. Chad. Like, absolute frickin... Chad, except for that one time when she claimed that Ash broke her bike and then chased her around the whole, uh, multiple re- chased Ash around, pretending that she was just mad about the bike, but really just wanted to be around Ash because she liked him. Like, at first it was about the bike, but then later it was just because she liked him. I don't know if to put her in Chad because, you know, the internet well, is hysterical over her. And also, everyone in the internet is going to jail. Um, or to put her in Simp. 
Because that was a pretty simp move. I'm sorry, Internet. Misty's a simp. Like, at me on Twitter about it. I would say don't at me, but like, actually, I don't have a Twitter. Um, I don't have social media anywhere. Uh, make a response video. Uh, g give me more views and attention. <laughs> but uh, I do have to say, it. she she is a simp. You see, some good characters end up in simp. Like Brock. Brock's a really good character, but he's just kind of a simp. Misty's good. She's kind of a simp, though. Uh, we got ourselves Nathan from uh, what's it called? From Yokai Watch. I wish that show got big. I wish that game series got big. Because, like, it was actually pretty good and very creative. All the, there's a lot of good characters and stuff being made. All the yokai were pretty cool. Nathan himself, I don't really remember. I haven't. I only watched, like, the first seven episodes and then didn't really uh, remember most of it. I remember some of the jokes, but, yeah. Um, The nerd guy, who I can't remember the name of, from... Uh, What's it called? From, uh, what's it called? From Zeke and Luther. He's actually kind of a Chad because you know that one episode where he just pick, just picks up two girls in a bar. No, well, not a bar. It was like a fast food restaurant or something that they all went to. He just picked them up like like it was no one's business. He was just like, bam, and he just got two girls in there. Yeah, well, yeah, it was pity hugs, he said, but... <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's what, that's what, that happened. That's what happened. So next up, there's a uh, Peanut. I hate pick one Peanut. He's going in simp. Uh, we got ourselves Perry. Perry's a Chad. Um, Phineas. Phineas is also a Chad. Uh, we got ourselves. I think I forgot to put Isabella in this list. <laughs> just realized that. Just uh, she would go in simp. Uh, we got ourselves Pickle. Simp. I hate Pickle. And also, those two do definitely lack common sense. They lack the common sense. And that's one of the definitions of being a simp. Uh, we got ourselves Randy Cunningham. I never actually watched that show. Just average, I guess. Uh, Rose Tyler, average. Uh, Bruno. Uh, Bruno's good. Bruno's good. Chad. Uh, we got ourselves Sabine. Sabine kind of sucks. Whack. Uh, we got ourselves Uncle Scrooge McDuck. He is... Well, we not actually... Will I call him a Chad? I don't know. I'll, I'm going to call him a Chad. Because, uh, like, I don't want to put him in average. He's better than that, but he's not really a bro. Well, he's rich. He's the richest duck in the world. How could you not be a Chad? Like, absolute Chad. Chad. Like, dang, son. Okay. Yeah, I'm stalling because... I don't know why I'm stalling. I'm drawing out my words because, like... People keep messaging me and stuff, and I'm trying to respond while... Not breaking up the recording. Uh, we got ourselves Serena from Pokemon. Definitely the pe the best Pokemon girl. Don't at me, and don't send me to jail. It's... I'm just making a joke. I'm just making a joke. Uh, it, it, seriously, it is just a joke. Kid me, uh, I kind of had a crush on her, but... I was like... I would have been nine when that show came out. Dang, 2013 seems so long ago. Dang. 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 Okay, sorry. I'm, I'll stop now. I'm just going to one last respond, respond to that and then... Sorry, guys. Man, next time I should just tell everyone that I'm going to do recording and so that they stop messaging me. Uh, we got Shun, Shun, Shun from uh, Bakugan. He is an absolute freaking Chad. Though sometimes, like that time, I wasn't actually uh, stalling. Sometimes I do just like to draw out my words to make a point. 
So, I'm not always stalling. That time I was just, you know, doing stuff. Seuss. Seuss is wait, average. What? No. What drugs am I on? Seuss is an absolute freaking bro. Bro. Okay, what, what am I doing? Wait. I was trying to make it funny. I, f I, I don't have jokes. I don't have jokes. <laughs> okay, we got Spectacular Spider-Man. Spider-Man is always a Chad, no matter what. 2017 Spider-Man. Hey, where's Ultimate Spider-Man? Did, did I not put Ultimate Spider-Man in here? Oh, I know. There's Ultimate Spider-Man. Um... Yeah. Mm, pretty cool, pretty cool. We got ourselves a Stacy. Stacy is just average, I guess. Like, nothing special. She's barely even in the show. You know? Barely. <laughs> nice. So, uh, Stan, Stan Lee, um, Stanley Pines, Chad, absolute freaking Chad, we guys have Star from Star vs. the Forces of Evil, I hate Star vs. the Forces of Evil, she's going in whack, uh, we guys have Steel from Max Steel, he is the, bruh, he is the most absolute bro you have ever did done seen, we guys have the 10th Doctor, Chad, 11th Doctor, what even happened here? Why, why is my mouse, like, way above it? Okay. Absolute Chad. We got ourselves Thor. Thor. As much as, honestly, I don't really care for Thor's character in most things. He's a Chad. Just always a Chad. Now we got ourselves Ultimate Spider-Man. He's a Chad. Vanessa. I don't know. Vanessa's just average, I guess. Uh, we got ourselves Wasabi. Wasabi's a bro. Wasabi's cool. We got ourselves... Wasp from Earth's Mightiest Heroes. Chad, best version of Wasp. Uh, we got ourselves Yokai Watch Ghost Guy. He's a bro, total and absolute bro. Uh, we, we got ourselves Zack. Yeah, three Zacks in a row because it's Zack when he's old. Um, Chad, Zack when he's young, bro. Zack in Milo Murphy's Law. Bro. Actually, I call him a Chad. Zach, that ju Zach is a Chad. Zeb. Zeb's just average, I guess. He's not really anything special. Uh, but Zeke and Luther from... Well, dang it. Zeke from Zeke and Luther. Absolute Chad. I kind of want to put him up in number one Chad with... Uh, come, on, come, on, come on, Just freaking... There we go. I kind of want to put him up in number one Chad with Ash, but... Ash is just the number one Chad. So, yep, this is my tier list. You can barely fit it on one screen. From the worst to the number one Chad, because, uh, you know, just simp to Chad wasn't enough this time. Thank you, everybody, for watching this video. And, uh, click on some of my end screen videos stuff. And, uh, see you around. Sorry about the whole uh, soup thing towards the beginning of the video, because, no, that was really an issue, and uh, sorry about uh, the whole uh, stalling and drawing out words things. Some of the time it was to make a joke, some of the times it's because people keep messaging me when I'm recording, but whatever. That's, uh, <laughs> have a good day!